Good morning, guys. I want to encourage you this morning. I hope that you're having a wonderful morning. We're going to talk about Hebrews 11.6. It says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. What does this mean? Look, now there is a spiritual application to this, but there is also a physical application to this, like in life, right? Like if you start a business or if, you know, if, if you want to make your uh, marriage better, right? I mean, you can't do these things and grow these things if you don't have faith and if you don't believe that it's going to first change or get better or grow, right? And so that's where, that's the point where we, uh, allow God to come into our lives. Maybe it's our marriage. Maybe it's our business. Maybe it's our home. Maybe it's our relationship with our children. Maybe it's our relationship with our parents, whatever it is. But the faith and him being able to come in and renew it and restore it and redeem it and bring it back to life is the avenue in which he moves through our lives, th through the physical things in our lives. Now, there is also a spiritual aspect to this to where without faith, we cannot come to be saved. We have to receive the gift of, uh, of grace by faith, and then we will be saved and receive the Holy Spirit. But that's only by faith. Now listen, this faith that it says that is impossible to please God if we don't live by it, means that God wants us to put Him first in our life. And He wants to be in, ch in charge. He wants to be first. He doesn't want second best. He doesn't want the driver's seat. He doesn't want any of that. He wants to be in in first place in your life, in every single aspect of it. And he wants to be in everything of your life. He wants to be in your finances, your relationships. He wants to be in your work. He wants to be uh, in your body, uh, your mind, your spirit, your soul, every single aspect of your life. He wants to be in it. And the avenue in which he moves through it is faith, guys. So look, without faith, it's impossible to please God. God wants us to live lives full of faith, full of belief, full of trust, because he is a loving father who knows our needs and he provides our needs. He promises to provide our every need, every need, every single one. Listen, also, since he's a loving father, sometimes he gives us the things that we want too. As long as it, as long as it's, as long as it benefits us, and it and it brings us closer to him, he'll give it to us. But you know what? There's another aspect to that too, where he'll give us things even if it doesn't, uh, if we if we leave him. But you know, here's the thing, guys: faith. Okay, faith, faith, faith. You have to believe. You have to trust. You have to have faith in Christ. You have to have faith in his principles and what he says that he can do. That he can come into your life. That he can fix it. That he can redeem it. That he can change it. That he can bring it back to life. Whether it's your health, maybe your mind, maybe your relationship, your work. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's a friend that you've been working on who doesn't know Christ. And I've got many of them, many, many, many of them. I pray for them every single day. You just got to keep sowing those seeds of faith and you just have to keep having faith that the Lord will come through on his promises. And guess what? He will. Faith pleases him. Have a great day.